good evening. A particularly beautiful uh, improvisation on the carol Silent Night by our good friend Art van der Gronden on the organ at the Dorpkerk in Nivenholm. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Be patient. The time is coming when we will celebrate the birth of Jesus when we will sing and rejoice, dancing with everlasting joy. But for now, be patient, as we wait in this time called Advent, when God speaks through dreams and visions, and we are invited to dance down the holy way into the kingdom. For this is Advent, as we prepare to join the world in celebrating the creator of goodness and hope when those who limp will teach new dance steps, when the voiceless sing, lo, how a rose air blooming. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Tonight's psalm is Psalm 40. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the desolate pit out of the miry bog and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many shall see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. I have told the glad news of deliverance in the great congregation. See, I have not restrained my lips, as you know, O Lord. I have not hidden your saying, saving, help within my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your steadfast love and your faithfulness from the great congregation. Do not, O Lord withhold your mercy from me. Let your steadfast love and your faithfulness keep me safe forever. But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say continually, great is the Lord. As for me, I am poor and needy, but the Lord takes thought for me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O oh my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And our Old Testament reading to accompany tonight's reflection by Tom Schumann is Isaiah 40, verses 3 to 11. A voice cries out, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are grass, their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades, when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand for ever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, the Lord comes with might and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms 
and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. Our Old Testament song is Hosea chapter 11. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk. I took them up in my arms, but they did not know that I healed them. I led them with cords of human kindness, with bands of love. I was to them like those who lift infants to their cheeks. I bent down to them and fed them. How can I give you up, Ephraim? How can I hand you over, O Israel? How can I make you like Admar? How can I treat you like Zeboam? My heart recoils within me. My compassion grows warm and tender. I will not execute my fierce anger. I will not again destroy Ephraim. For I am God and no mortal, the Holy One in your midst, and I will not come in wrath. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Continuing our daily readings for Advent, gifted to us by our good friend Tom Schumann in his book The Jesse Tree. Tonight's reflection, inspired by Isaiah chapter 40, Tom entitles so frayed, so frazzled. So frayed, so frazzled. So harried, so hassled. It's so hard to get prepared just when we think every present is bought, an unexpected one arrives. And of course, we have to go out and buy one for that person. As we gaze at the outside lights that have been hung and arranged so lovingly and carefully, a strand goes out and there is another trip to the store. We know the way to the mall so well. We could drive there with our eyes closed and almost do sometimes. The path to the post office is well worn from all the trips to mail back packages and get more stamps. Christmas Day draws nearer and nearer and the activity level increases as does our stress. The days grow shorter and shorter since we obviously don't have enough hours in each one to get everything done. So frayed, so frazzled, so harried, so hassled. We might not hear the voice calling to us, prepare the way, the Lord is coming, God's path will lead you straight to the kingdom. Open our ears, Lord. Open our ears. Amen. Tonight's hymn is Ian Higginson's anthem, Gabriel's Voice. And this recording is sung by the choir of St Andrews with Castlegate United Reformed Church in Nottingham, where I'm a member and was present for yesterday morning's carol service. Our good friend Derek Graham is one of the choir members singing within this anthem. Gabriel's Voice.
and our Gospel reading from St Luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 29. In the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary and he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our New Testament song, A Song of Promise, part of Zechariah's Hymn of Praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has looked favourably on his people and redeemed them. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to repair his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us, to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Tom offers this as an evening prayer for us. God who approaches, you gather the ignored so you can accomplish the unexpected for a world which no longer cares. With bread broken into pieces, you restore your shattered creation. As you let go of your child, our emptiness is filled with immeasurable grace. Ever new, always scarred, Jesus of the forgotten. Through you, those whose voices are silenced, hear the whispers of angels on hillsides and in shelters. By you, those who are knocked over, lead the way into your kingdom. With you, those who wander in shadows are clasped tight in your love breath of Advent, you pour the promises of the word into the shy and silent so they can carol of grace. You stretch out your hand to all in despair's exile to place them on the holy way of hope. You gather up the scraps of our scattered fears to build a new crib for a refugee family. Come, God in community, Holy in one, come. Amen. We offer our prayers. On this Monday evening, within the cycle of prayer for our Synod, we pray for the ministers, elders and members of our churches in Derbyshire. Those with settled ministry, those awaiting the arrival of a new minister in our North Derbyshire resource area. Those as yet to be mapped and as yet to be partnered in new formations for ministry. And we pray for all who carry additional burdens of responsibility and witness as ministry is so thin on the ground. Within our world, we pray for all affected by the typhoon in the Philippines and for all rescue and aid efforts. And with heavy hearts and with great uncertainty, we pray for our country as we wrestle with Omicron and the needless worry anxiety and harm that it is bringing us. We pray with our friend on Qatar for our friends in the Netherlands and for other partner countries in mainland Europe as they also brace themselves and in some instance are in lockdown. Give wisdom, courage and integrity we pray to our leaders and for all key workers, NHS, 
care home and hospice staff, already utterly exhausted by this seemingly endless fight against this uh, virus. We pray for energy, for strength to carry on. Giving thanks for the vaccination and booster programme. We pray for all who are administering the injections and for those parts of the world greatly vulnerable and much at risk in its absence. And we pray from our prayer list for those who ask us to pray for them. We pray with Liz for her great nephew Ryan and for her daughter Emma. We pray with our friend Prince in Botswana, with him for his wife Cheryl. We pray with Andy for Mike, his dad, and for Liz and Ruth in their ongoing care of him. And we pray with our friend Judith for Catherine, her niece, who last night updated us with thanks for our evening prayers. Catherine has now finished her chemotherapy sessions and after a very short break will have five radiotherapy sessions. She has to travel over an hour each way as her local hospital doesn't have the facilities. So for that five minute treatment, it takes her most of the day. She's remained positive throughout. Her local church supportive, supplying meals each day during the week. She's looking forward to being able to return to teaching, hopefully after Easter. We pray for Catherine, for others like her, that their essential treatment in these times may not be affected by the necessity of addressing Omicron. We pray with Onkatea, giving thanks for her membership of this Synod prayer community and team and asking for blessing upon her and for the Reverend Graham and Vera Maskery. We pray for all who grieve, particularly in these times of remembrance at Christmas. We pray for those who grieve, our moderator of General Assembly, Peter Pay, especially for Joe and for their children, Mark, Michelle, John and Matthew and the grandchildren. We pray for those who grieve for the Reverend Eric Allen, especially for Joan. Those grieving for the Reverend Vernon Broomfield Payne, especially for Kate. And those grieving for David Scott, especially for Sue. May God grant to broken hearts the comfort and consolation of his son born in Bethlehem. And these are prayers we offer, joining together to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us with his grace and fill us with his peace. Amen.
Good night.